Hello guys and welcome to today's video. This summer, a lot of you who are planning to apply to medicine will be sitting the UCAT, the University Clinical Admissions Test. And in today's video, I'll be reviewing one of the most commonly used revision platforms for this exam, Medify. And before I continue, I would like to say, Medify and I have worked together before to make possible these fantastic videos at such great quality. But I do want to say that this video is a product review. I'll be trying to show you as well as I can what features are available on Medify and how they'll be useful for your UCAT. I actually did use Medify services many years back when I applied to medical school, though I did use Medify for their UK CAT preparation, the old style exam of the UCAT. Things have changed and Medify's questions and platform has changed, but in today's video we're going to go through all of it to make sure that you guys understand what they offer and how you can use their services to get the best score possible in the UCAT exam. So let's firstly talk about actually accessing Medify. To access their questions, you simply sign up. Now, when you sign up initially, I believe you do get access to a few free questions that give you a very good taster of what the whole platform is like. Now, to get access to the biggest bank of UCAT questions out there, there are a variety of different options that you can go through. Depending on how long you want to revise, you can buy different packages whether you want to buy a package for a few weeks or a package for a few months. I remember when I used Medify, I purchased a package for around two months because I started preparing two months before my exam. You can always buy a package and extend your membership if you want to, or if your exam date has shifted later on. So the way it works is you choose how long you want your membership for, you pay a one-off payment, and then you get full access to all the questions on site, which I think is pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Now let's talk about Medify's question bank and how that pretty much sets them apart from every other online UK catch practice resource there is. Now, before I go into detail about their content, I want to highlight the two main sections that Medify offer. They have their massive question bank, but also their tutorial section. The question bank allows you to practice as many questions as you want, again and again and again, getting better and better, picking up new skills in an active manner. The tutorials, well, they're fantastic because then you can just sit down and start learning the content, learning the tips and learning the tricks. Now, let's quickly talk about their question bank. What I have realized specifically about Medify is that pretty much every single question they have on their site is made in-house. Now, this is very different to other UCAT sites. Medify have been making questions for 10 years, and so the quality of their questions relative to the actual exam is pretty damn amazing. From representing the easier questions you might find in the UCAT exam to the much harder ones you'll find in the exam, Medify seem to have everything covered. Now we know that the UCAT will have many different sections, from abstract reasoning to verbal reasoning to, for example, situational judgment. Medify have amazingly got extensive question banks specifically for each of those categories. Now even within these five big categories, they have subtyped the questions into smaller categories. So let's say you're struggling on ratios, for example, under the quantitative reasoning section, then you can, on Medify, just practice as many ratio questions as you want until you nail it. Now, I think that's pretty useful because once you realize a part of the course where you're always making mistakes, you can very accurately focus on it and make sure it's sorted out. Now, as well as offering questions from different categories, I think what they've done quite well is they've managed to sort out questions by intensity as well. So if you're feeling quite confident, you can actually set the questions so that it's a worst case scenario exam for you. Now this is pretty useful because the actual UCAT exam takes questions from a massive bank of questions and this is done randomly. As a consequence, some students might get an easy exam, other students might get a harder exam. Now this all depends on luck, but by using Medify services to prepare yourself for the worst case scenario exams once or twice, <clears throat> then I think you'll be in a very good position regardless of what the actual exam throws your way. Now quickly talking about the newly launched tutorials covering verbal reasoning, decision making, quantitative reasoning, abstract reasoning and situational judgment. I think that's a fantastic thing that you could use. As well as helping you learn the technique to improve your accuracy, reading these tutorials and going through them will really help you with speed. And one thing that's critical for good marks in the UCAT is the ability to do the questions at a very fast rate. Now let's move on to the feedback provided when you're revising using Medify. I personally think from actually having used Medify back in the day that this is their best feature, simply because when you get a mistake, you get a really useful detailed answer as to how that question works. You understand the question, you get to know, okay, this is the question type that I made the mistake on. And by reading this fantastic feedback they give you, 
over time you really really learn very quickly and so by reading all these bits of feedback these individual bits of feedback on the questions you then gain so much knowledge as to how you can improve your technique by pointing out your mistakes by helping you overcome your mistakes over time you really really learn how to avoid such mistakes and this will ultimately benefit you in the final exam now in addition to this another form of feedback they give you is in terms of the performance metrics. You can see which sections you're weakest on when you're practicing, but also you can see how you're doing compared to other users on the platform. Now, this is very useful because over time, of course, you'll see yourself improving compared to other candidates. And this, to an extent, is representative of how you're doing relative to your cohort. And again, the UCAT is an exam where you're marked against other students who are taking the exam. It's all marked relatively. I can't stress enough how useful the figures and facts are when it presents it to you. Because then you can really think, right, I've nailed abstract reasoning, but I'm absolutely horrible on situational judgment. Let's focus on that and try and bring that score up so that in the exam, my average will be higher. Isn't that just so useful? The last key point I want to talk about in this review is the ease of use of the, of the platform. If you're using a slow internet connection or a super fast internet connection, because of the way they've designed the platform, it's pretty much going to be the same. The way they've designed the interface from the graphics to the text to simply how easy they make it to sort of just get onto the revising aspect of things just makes using Medify not feel like revision. Just a routine thing you're doing, get it done, really good fun, you're learning stuff and you get out of it and you go back, take a break and then come back to it. Whereas using other platforms or books which aren't as refined, it's just a bit of a slog to get out the book, open up the book, you've lost a page, oh no, what, how much have you completed so far, oh no, you've forgotten that. Simply with Medify it doesn't work. You simply log in, made even faster if your browser remembers your password, log in, see what you've done best on recently or yesterday. Today I'm going to focus on this section, get straight to it. Because Medify tracks and saves your progress throughout your use of Medify, it really shows you how you're improving. It really shows you exactly where you need to work on. And ultimately for the price you're paying for the service, which is pretty much the cost of a book or two, I think it's unparalleled. You're getting some of the best questions out there for the UCAT. It's interactive, you're getting fantastic feedback. You've got the tutorials if you want to use them. And lastly, it's so easy to use. What more could you want? I hope that detailed review was useful for you guys. And frankly, it's up to you whether you want to make use of such a fantastic resource or not. There are many other resources available, but you want to make sure that you're not only getting the best value when it comes to your revision material, but also you're getting realistic revision material. The last thing you want is to be using a form of revision that isn't actually accurate and representative of the exam because you'll go to the exam and you'll be in complete shock. You guys make your mind up. I'm just here to give you the best advice I can. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, take care and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.